Welcome back everybody. In the last video we removed the old rusted through torsion axles. In this video we'll be installing the new ones. My boat trailer is a boat master trailer and that is who I got my new axles from. This section of the trailer that I'm showing you right now is where the torsion axles mount to the trailer. Right now it's still crusty and, and dirty. You can still see some of the loose corrosion on it. The plan is to hit it with some muriatic acid to clean that area, scrub some of that off, and get those trailer axles mounted. In my backyard, you hear so many sounds of nature. It's kind of sad having to cut that out while I'm editing. I don't have a steel brush or any type of metal brush right now. This is all I got, a crusty scrubbing brush. So we gotta make do with what I got. that off with some water. So we're just going to paint this on and then hose it back off. This is just to prepare the surface, try to get off some of that salt and that corrosion from the old trailer. As I try not to breed. I should have did the bottom first. Stuff is strong. I got a little moss, but still not the right moss. Right, I'm not going to let that sit too long. I'm just going to hose it off and get on with it. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna go around to the others, brush them off and do the exact same thing. I'll do it off camera though, I won't bore you with that. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this though, but basically these are the nuts for mounting the, the axle to the trailer. It's full steel and steel, that's what they tell me. I'm not too good with metals. Um, <clears throat> so it's gonna be the bolt. It's going to be a stainless steel washer and it's going to be a nitro rubber washer that goes in on the top part of the trailer the axle goes under the trailer then there's another rubber washer stainless steel washer and a nylon locking nut the rubber was not there last time but um the nuts, the bolts, and the washer was corroded to the trailer. So hopefully this, this rubber this time will stop all of that from happening. Um, or at least give me a better, easier time when it's time to take it off again. I'm going to slather all of this in uh, bearing grease that goes in the trailer hub. Hopefully that makes it easier. So what I basically did here was rest the mounting face of the axle of the axle onto the rubber material what I'm gonna use as a space in between the axle and the trailer and traced out that mounting 
face with a marker so the marker isn't too good and then I'm gonna cut it out and we're gonna put that between the trailer and the um, the axles mounting face now I will have to join it um, with another piece right to the end here I'm gonna fill the area with grease Before we get too far into this video, I want to thank everyone who've subscribed or watched my videos thus far. I really appreciate you. I just want to let you know we're on the road to 100 subscribers. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, support me. Help me out. Help me get to 100 subscribers. Thank you. Okay, so going like myself, didn't buy enough of this material. Only one sheet comes in a pack. And I forgot I got two axles with four mounting surfaces. So, it's going to be an experiment because I'm not going back to the shop and wasting the little time I have left. So, we're going to use this cork material, this cork and rubber mixed material. Um, feels like felt but it's also rubber it stretches so it'll be an experiment between the boat to see which which one lasts the longest I'll just keep an eye on it whichever one fades away the quickest I'll just replace it I welcome the cool breeze when it blows, but sadly it doesn't feel like how it sounds in this recording. doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Sometimes the grease gets so hard. Okay, what I'm gonna attempt to do here is line up the axles under the trailer so i'm just going to basically tie a rope to the pallet and try and pull it straight under the trailer without losing any life on my back so we will line up to do let's say the back one first. Oh. 
believe this is some material that should have been left on there for mounting the torsion to the trailer but the torsion actually to the trailer but this got damaged in shipping so that's why i'm replacing it with that red rubber a red rubber material that you see That loud hissing or buzzing you're hearing is the cicadas and they do this in the middle of the night under my window it's so annoying I've always wondered how they do this I had to look it up apparently they have an organ called a thimble that they use to make this noise just similar to the to the way that we make noise when we crack our knuckles so every time they flex their muscle it's just like cracking your knuckles borrowed this ball jack a while back apparently it didn't come with a handle I just found a pipe out the yard and it worked so I don't intend to fix it
theme of this video. I didn't have a tire wrench this day. I ended That's up sick. using my ratchet to tighten up the nuts on the tires and waited for a day when a tire wrench became available. So, no dice. I didn't get to move the boat that day. Before putting on all the tires, I took them to the shop, all five of them, to get them checked, make sure they didn't have any leaks. They were good at the shop, came home, put them on the boat, put them on the trailer, and the next time I came out to do some work on the trailer, one of the tires were flat. Good thing I had a spare to put on instead of going back to the tire shop and just wasting time. But yeah, that's that's why I'm changing the style here. I apologize for any nausea caused by the rest of this video. A friend came to visit and Maybe because I asked him to hold the camera instead of letting him eat his food, all of the footage came out shaky. So what you see at the end here is what we were able to salvage, at least what I was able to salvage. If you feel like puking, I won't kill you for skipping through the rest of this. If you're wondering why my lower unit is black, it's because I got a replacement a while back and probably being too lazy and more focused on getting out on the water I haven't been able to paint it who knows maybe we'll do a video about that in the future Well guys, that's it for the axles at this point, however that still does not kill the list of things we need to get done before we get in the water. The bottom paint still needs to be touched up in certain areas, the hull needs to be cleaned and buff. I would like to change out all the switches on the dash and probably add a rigging too, just to protect my connections coming from the engine. But I'll leave that list for another video and I'll catch you guys later.